Hello, business law students. I'm Michaela, one of LBCC's librarians. Business law is a complex topic, and the resources I'll be showing you in the next few minutes will help you make sense of it all. To get to the page with all these resources, point your internet device to this URL, library.linbenton.edu slash BA226. First, let's talk about the required materials for this course in the center box at the top of the page called Your OER Course Texts. Your professor has customized an Open Educational Resource, or OER, for your class. This means the book is free to you online. Unlike with other textbooks, you're able to legally print all or part of this book for free. You can even have your own copy printed at the campus store for around $30. When you click on the first link, you'll see the preview version of the PDF in Google Drive. When you scroll down to the table of contents and try to click on a specific chapter, it probably doesn't work in this preview screen. You can fix that by downloading the document. On most devices, you can do this by clicking the down arrow in the upper right-hand corner of your screen and then clicking on the file that appears at the bottom of the screen. This file probably will open in your browser and look basically the same, but you should now be able to click the table of contents to get to specific chapters, which makes navigating a lot easier. Another trick with online reading is to press the Control and F keys on your PC or the Command and F keys on your Mac. This will open a search box where you can find all the times a specific word or phrase is used in the book. The link below your main course text goes to a collection of additional readings that Mr. Tierney may refer to. This document is also a PDF and works pretty much like your main text. Below this top central box is more information about understanding court jurisdictions and legal citations, or the way cases are referred to. Because cases may go through several different courts, there are often several legal decisions with similar names. There are links to two free resources in this box. One helps you understand the structure of the U.S. court system, and the other helps you make sense of and create citations to court cases. The next box in this column provides links to the laws and rules that govern us, starting with national documents like the Constitution and continuing down through state and local levels of government. If you are learning about employment law, and you want to learn more about Oregon's employment laws, for example, click on Oregon Revised Statutes. You can see that Volume 14 relates to employment, and by clicking on that, you can drill down into specific chapters. Going back to our guide, let's talk about the resources on the left-hand side. These are online books that aren't required reading but may be helpful if you're curious about a topic or need a little extra practice. The books in the top left-hand box are library eBooks, meaning that LBCC pays for access. To get to these books, you need to establish that you're an LBC student by logging in with your X number and year of birth. These eBooks give you three options for access. I recommend using Read Online as long as you have consistent connection to the internet. You can also download the entire book to read offline for a certain number of days with Adobe Digital Editions or create PDFs of a certain number of pages. These PDFs don't expire. The resources in the next box in our guide, More Free Books and Resources, are free to everyone, so you don't have to log in. 
you may have noticed that business law uses a lot of words that are new to those of us who aren't lawyers. A legal encyclopedia, like this one from Cornell, will help define all this new terminology. Let's take a look at the top right hand of our guide um, at the librarian box. Here's a picture of me, hello, and my contact information. If you have any other trouble accessing or using your texts, please let a librarian or your instructor know so that we can help. If you go to the library homepage by clicking on the library link at the top of the page, you'll find information about getting immediate help from the library. While we're physically closed during the COVID-19 crisis, you can talk to a librarian on call through Zoom, phone, email, or chat. The next box, Remember Iraq, gives you an opportunity to learn more about and practice the Iraq structure, which Mr. Tierney has probably introduced you to as a key concept for succeeding in this class. Please note that two of the answers in the second example are mixed up. I think the issue is labeled as the relevant law, and the relevant law is labeled as the issue. Give it a try and see if you agree. Back at the guide, the very last box we'll talk about is area law libraries. The LBCC library is an academic library, meaning we support the many different classes taught here. Law libraries have more legal resources and expertise specifically. In spring 2020, they may be closed or only offer remote support due to the governor's stay home, save lives order. This has been a quick intro to this library guide to support your business law studies. Again, you can contact me directly or for a faster response, email libref at lynnbenton.edu to contact multiple librarians. We're here to help you even if we can't do that face-to-face -face right now.